Uh, greetings and welcome to yet another Mod of the Month video, uh, this time around taking a look at the best mods of November 2017. And uh, yes, I know, I know, we've already, you know, done our top 10 video list for 2017, and it's January, so it might seem a bit odd to be doing a November video right now, but uh, we've got a, a bit of catching up to do, uh, even if it does mean showing off one or two of the same mods that, uh, you know, we already showed off in our top 10 list. And in any event, uh, 51 new mods were released from our end in November, a slight increase over October, I think. And out of those, we'll be taking a look at the three best mods as decided by you guys in our online popular poll. And of course, uh, you'll find down the links down in the video description below, along with links to a new online poll to, you know, decide the best mods of December. So without further ado, let's get started. And our mod of the month for November 2017 is none other than Dark Knight's uh, Grey Doomer Ruins, Grey Doomer in Tier Years by Dark Knight. And I guess you could call this a graphics mod of sorts. It uh, basically replaces a lot of the interior tile set pieces for the Duma Ruins of Morrowind, both on Vardenfell and on the Morrowind's mainland with Tarry built. And uh, you know, it's easy to see why this is our mod of the month. After all, a common criticism of Bethesda's tile set design for Morrowind is that it often feels, oh, uh, well, you know, sort of squarish and flat, making for simple, boring uh, corridors and squarish rooms that uh, by themselves aren't particularly exciting to look through and explore. And uh, that's where this, uh, you know, mod comes in, because it replaces the corridor and wall pieces of the uh, Dumatar sets with more dynamic and organic feel and replacement that uh, notably have more detail and, you know, more sort of uh, depth to them in general. And uh, you'll notice this especially with the corridors here, which have a sort of hollowed out uh, alcove that runs uh, behind the pipes and the walls here, giving these chambers a uh, sort of, you know, greater feeling of depth. And there's also just a lot more detail in general. With the pipes and doomer lights uh, going along the uh, ceiling and improved looking doorways. And this includes a replacement for the doomer doors themselves, so they now have a different uh, way of opening. The doors sliding up into the ceiling rather than, you know, coming outwards. And uh, with included support for Tower Rebuilt, this really makes the doomer ruins of Morrowind a vastly more interesting and detailed affair. Making otherwise potentially boring uh, doomer dungeons into something that's just a bit more exciting and dynamic in terms of design rather than the flat and old-fashioned tile sets for the Doomer Ruins found in the vanilla game. And given this evident quality, it's easy to see why this is our mod of the month for November 2017. And next up for our second pick, we have City of Almora by Predator and MV Developer. And yes, we did just show off this mod in our number 4 slot for the top 10 mods of 2017. But it was also one of the biggest mods to be released in November, so, you know, here we are again. If somehow, despite our repeated showcase into this mod, and the trailer we did for it, uh, you still don't know what the uh, Sea of Amora mod does. It's essentially a town and city expansion mod for the settlements of Great House Halalu, including obviously Balmora, Saran, Halal and uh, Ganal Mok, as well as adding uh, new towns, a new landmass, uh, three entire new factions that you can join, and about, uh, you know, 40 new quests to do, and not to mention about uh, a dozen new dungeons, and a lot more. Obviously, there's a lot of content here, and uh, obviously we've covered it a lot already, so I'll try and keep this a bit on the short side. As I've mentioned countless times in other videos, City of Balmora was originally started by Predator about, I think, uh, six or seven years ago, as simply a town expansion for Balmora, though the project quickly grew to be a much, you know, sort of bigger scope than that original vision. Though, unfortunately, uh, Predator left the community in 2014 before the uh, project was anywhere close to being finished. Uh, since then, uh, Envy Developer has taken up the role of finishing the City of Balmora mod, adding three new factions and 40 quests to go on, involving some rather interesting characters and releasing the mod in its current state. Of course, City of Balmora does have a few downsides, namely that uh, many of the uh, buildings added by the various town expansions here, and also the new settlements and landmasses, have few new interiors to explore, so for the most part they're largely just, you know, cosmetic. Still, the sheer amount of uh, content stuffed into this mod is what makes it our second choice for the mod of the month for November 2017. Finally, we have uh, Blackthorn Barrow by Corsair83 as our third and final choice for the mod of the month. And, uh, you know, we've actually showcased this mod once before, back in episode 64 of Morrowind Modding Showcases as our quest mod of the week. 
And as you might guess, this is a, a quest in Dungeon Mall that adds a new and somewhat mysterious Nordic tomb to the northern parts of Solstein, in which you'll uncover a bit of a mystery, including a number of documents up behind detailing the exploration of this tomb by, you know, the previous uh, explorers that have come here before you. And uh, the story here is actually uh, quite well written and worth pursuing, but of course uh, you won't be just uh, reading here. As there are, of course, a uh, number of rather inhospitable mercenaries who would like nothing better to do than to cave your skull in with an axe and to keep whatever treasures are hiding in the dark depths for themselves. And the Sunshine Adventure by itself is a pretty exciting affair with non-stop opponents to face uh, practically the entire way through. And the dungeon design here is absolutely fantastic and unique with some, you know, excellent atmospheric touches that, uh, you know, sort of make this place feel a bit like a Skyrim dungeon. It's not uh, terribly long though, I'd say there's only about an hour of pure dungeon delving content here, and overall this is a fairly mid-sized dungeon romp. Uh, still, this is one of the uh, better dungeon mods we released in 2017, and as such it comes as a little surprise that it rounds out our Mother Month picks here for November 2017. And that wraps up this episode of the Mario and Twilight of the Month. Don't forget to cast your votes for your favourite mods of December 2017, and we'll be back in a couple of weeks with another video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time!